Here we are, finally got a working amplifier speaker. Arduino used um, so that I can use my rotary encoder. Basically, turn the encoder and then press it inwards to get a, uh, a honk. And the Arduino right now, I've just got a piece of tape between it and the soundboard. There's a soundboard underneath. Come on, focus. It just happens that the pins line up, which is pretty good. This is all powered by USB right now from my computer. But anyway, 12-volt battery just to simulate the car with the 12-volt uh, amplifier again to the speaker. The knob, as I turn it, I've written software about it. If you look at the screen on the left here, so I turn it down, and there it is changing the sound effects. So honk pin number two is active. Honk pin number three. So on honk pin number three, if I press the button, it's real, real loud. So let's go to uh, track 10. So right now I have it as a OGG file on AUG. So it's actually pretty slow. So watch the delay. Click. It's because it has to decode it every time. But basically, if I, if I hold it, and then back a sound, I got all these sounds from Unreal Tournament, believe it or not. There's an Unreal Tournament car sound. Oh, there's no file on that. Train horn. <laughs> and just a sound effect for fun. So that's that. That works. It's tiny, as you can see. Um, uh, how to compare this to something that people know. Let's say a... Oh my gosh, there's nothing here that I have that's normal. How about a pen? There's a pen. So you have an idea of how big this is. It's very small. Not much larger than a, a pen lid. And again, it's currently running off 5 volts of the USB, but I have a little... And by little, I mean absolutely tiny power converter that I'll take the 12 volts from my car and dump it into this. I'm looking everywhere for it, but of course, I can't find it. Where the heck are you? Here it is. Look at the size of that thing. It's real, real small. There's that. So that'll take the 12 volts of the car, or 14 volts, or whatever the car will be, and put it down to 5 volts so I can run this stuff. And once that's all soldered up, of course, the wires will be neat. And this will just go somewhere in the car. So it's got a nice little knob on it now that I, I found. But uh, basically, I can rotate this as much as I want. So I know that I'm scrolling down. So if you look, scrolling down, I'll always, I'll never go below um, zero, which is the first one. And then if I scroll all the way up, I'll never scroll beyond the maximum, which is pin 12. So uh, pin 12 is actually the 11th sound effect. It's just the way the programming's gone and the pin out on the board. Point is, uh, go all the way back. Uh, let's go to sound effect 10 and tap it. Just like a BMW should sound.